Hi, have you been hearing about ChatGPT in the news? Wondering what the hype is all about? And not sure exactly how to get started? Well, this video is for you. In this beginner friendly and back to basics tutorial for ChatGPT, I will show you precisely how to find, sign up, and start and join using ChatGPT today, step by step with demos in 2025. So you can do it too. No tech jargon, just real life help tailored for you. Ready? Let's go. So, what is ChatGPT? Let's first talk about what ChatGPT is not. It is not a search engine like Google. It is not a robot. And it is not a person sitting on the other side of the screen. Think of it more like a really helpful assistant that has learned a lot and knows about many, many things. From gardening tips to how Medicare works and is here to help you. And to use it, you do not have to download anything. You use it within your web browser, like Chrome or Safari, very much like how you're watching this video now. It has all sorts of uses. It's great for planning meals, explaining complex concepts like social security, writing letters, learning new things, or even devising brain games to keep our minds sharp. And you know what? It is completely free. Yes, there is a paid version, but I always recommend beginners to start with a free version first. You'd be amazed at how powerful it is. Excited? Me too. Let's go get it now. Okay, let's go find ChatGPT. Open up your browser. I'm using Google Chrome right here. And search for Open AI. Open AI is the company that makes ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a product that Open AI has. This is the safest way to make sure that you get to the correct site. If you just search for ChatGPT, there might be some nefarious websites that you might not want to visit. So the very top link here is OpenAI. Go ahead and click on that. This is what chat GPT looks like. But before we start using it, we want to create an account so that it knows who we are and keeps a history and memory of our conversations. You want to click on Login and the top option, chat GPT. If this is your first time here, you want to sign up for free by clicking this link. If you have an account already, you want to log in with that information. We're going to sign up for free. At this point, you're going to need your email address and to create a password. You simply type in your email here. I will just type in a fake one, my email at gmail.com. But you want to put in yours, click continue. And you want to put a password in here that is easy for you to remember, but hard to guess. After that, click on continue. At that time, go to your email that you put here and check the inbox. You should have an email from OpenAI to try to confirm or validate that you are indeed trying to sign up. Click on that link in there and follow directions, which will bring you right back to chat GPT with you already signed in. Hi, are you interested in a simple, downloadable and free PDF file that teaches you how to go from a beginning chat GPT user to semi pro? Well, I made one for you and you get it now, right now by clicking the very top link below. It's called chat GPT guide for seniors explained in plain English. Grab it right now, all for free. Now let's get back to learning. 
Once you log in properly, this is what you'll see. This is the interface for ChatGPT. As you can see, it's very clean, very intuitive, and very non-cluttered. There are no advertisements. This is the button you hit if you want to start a new chat, a new conversation. This is how you search through your previous chats. And this is your library, which we'll talk about in a different video. This little button up here, if you click on it, it's called temporary chat. Let's try that. Once you clicked on it, anything you talk about in here will not be stored in any kind of history. It will not remember this conversation and it won't be used to train the models. It's very much like incognito mode of your web browser. Let's click it again to get out of temporary chat so that whatever we talked about, ChatGPT can have an ongoing context of conversation, which is one of the key points of using these AI tools. This area right here where it says ask anything is how you communicate with ChatGPT. This is where you write your prompt. A quick bit of terminology. The word prompt in this case merely means the directions, question, or instructions that you type into this box is what and how you communicate with ChatGPT. So moving forward, when I say let's type in the prompt, what is for dinner? All I mean is what we type in here. That is the prompt. So now that we're logged in, one of the most common questions I get asked is what do I actually type into ChatGPT? And the answer is simple. Type it like you're asking a helpful patient friend. Here are three quick examples of what you can type into ChatGPT right now. Write a friendly birthday message for my daughter who's turning 35. Or what are three easy dinners I can make this week with chicken? Or you can ask it to explain complex concepts. Explain Medicare in simple terms for someone over 55. Why don't we do one together and see what this prompt gives us? After you type something in, you either click enter or you press this up arrow button. In just a couple of seconds, it gave us a really rough overview of exactly what Medicare is for people over 65. And there are part A, B, C, and D, what it covers and not cover. Just a really simple high level. These little symbols down here, the one on the far left is the copy. So if you click this, it copied everything that ChatGPT just replied to us with this entire multiple paragraphs on the clipboard, and you can paste it into documents any way you want. This is where you can vote whether you like this response or not, so that it learns your behavior and how you like to be answered. This is actually pretty neat, where it reads the entire reply to you. This is the share button. And if you click on that, you can send this reply via text or email to any way you want. This final one is really interesting. It's called Try Again. If you press on it, you can have some options to either regenerate this reply, meaning it will answer this question one more time for you in different words, or it gives a couple options of being either more precise or more detailed. Let's take a look at it. Let's click on this Try Again button. You can ask it just to simply try again, see what happens. You can ask for more detail, expanding on the answer it already gave you. More concise, less words, filter down, more precise answer. And even directly from here, you can ask it to make it longer or shorter or any, any other type of different replies that you want from it. Remember, this is a back and forth communication. So why don't we click on more concise? It's going to repeat the request, but be less wordy about it. Let's try that. Okay. This reply came in just about a paragraph. So you can see how we can really use ChatGPT to tailor the reply exactly how you want it. Do you see how fast and clear that was? You don't need to know any fancy commands. Just be yourself. 
Okay, let's now look at some simple, easy ways that you can use ChatGPT today in your everyday life. Meal planning. You can ask it for five dinner ideas with ingredients you already have on hand. Budget help. Ask it to make a simple budget for fixed income or for retirement. Letters and emails. Have it write or edit a message to a friend, a grandchild, or your doctor. Learning something new. Ask it to explain the basics of photography will teach you something that you're curious about. Memory games, play trivia, brain teasers, or even create a word puzzle. And one of my favorites, travel planning. Ask for a three-day travel itinerary or how to create a packing checklist. Try one of these today. You'll be amazed at what's possible. Okay, let's talk about something really powerful. Using ChatGPT on one of these, your smartphone. OpenAI has a dedicated native application that you can download for free. Let me show you how to get it. If you're an iPhone Apple user, you would simply go to the Apple App Store and search for OpenAI ChatGPT. The icon is this white background with black designs. It looks just like this. Make sure it is this app and not any others. Then you simply install it on your phone. If you are an Android phone user, such as Samsung's Google Pixels, then go to your Google Play Store and do the same thing. Search for OpenAI ChatGPT and it will look something like this. Again, make sure it's the real, authentic application by OpenAI, not anything else. And simply install on your phone. Once you have downloaded and installed it, log in with the exact same details that we created earlier, the same email address and the same password. The cool thing, everything stays synchronized between the two devices. Whatever you do, on your computer or your desktop will automatically be updated and synced with your phone and vice versa. You see all your past chats, everything right in your pocket. Now let's talk about some cool stuff. The mobile smartphone version has some features that makes your life even easier. First, you can easily talk into your phone instead of typing. Who has time to type on little tiny screens with these fingers. Just tap on the microphone icon and speak your message. Second, since the replies comes into your phone, you can easily copy and paste whatever answers ChatGPT gave you into other apps, such as emails, you text with someone, or any kind of notes. This is great for sending a birthday message to someone or forwarding a recipe to a friend. And since you can now bring ChatGPT with you anywhere you go, you can ask it questions wherever you are, in the store, at the doctor's office, or even while you're traveling. And yes, it is still very, very private. It will not listen to you unless you press the microphone icon. And you can still always type into it. I will have a dedicated video soon all about using the smartphone version of ChatGPT. So whether you're at home, on the go, it'll be with you in your pocket as your helpful assistant. Yes, safety matters, especially when it comes to being online. The good news is this, ChatGPT cannot access your personal files, your camera, or your location, but you still should be smart and diligent. Here are a few pointers. Do not share private information like your social security number, banking info, or any passwords. Do not believe everything ChatGPT tells you. It can be wrong. When it comes to critical issues like financial or medical, please 
double check the information. Treat it like a helpful tool, not a person or an expert. Remember, you are always in control. So there you have it. A simple back to basics step by step tutorial of how you can get started with ChatGPT today in 2025. Tell me, what is one thing you're going to do first? A letter? A dinner idea? A question about a hobby? Anything. To get a deeper understanding of using ChatGPT, I have a free gift for you. I made a free downloadable PDF guide called ChatGPT for Seniors Learn It in Plain English. It's free for you. You can grab it in the first link in the description below. And I'll send it directly to your mailbox. If you enjoy this content, please click like and also the subscribe button. This really helps small channel like mine grow. I appreciate you. Here are a couple of videos that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. Please click on them. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.